NYWCI. I am the administrator of the message board, Robert Lottie. House of Madness 2012 is now in the book. The show kicked ass. We start out with tag team action with Bill Carr and Big Game Smith James defeating Reckless and Wasted, or should I say, the Reckless Avengers. Braden, Captain America, Knight, JT, Iron Man, Kaysen with the Incredible Forge in their corner. However, JT Kaysen was not the legal man in that tag team matchup. In a return bout from Till I Collapse, the boy diva Rick Cataldo defeated Nikki Adams to retain the Starlet Championship after Alicia tried nailing Cataldo with the Starlet belt and ended up nailing Nikki Adams with it. Cataldo came out, uh, I tried to get a little psychological advantage, coming out as the old Nikki Adams. Alvin Alvarez defeated Ryan the Adrenaline Rush in a huge upset victory. Those two guys did work quite well together, and Alvin continues to get better. In what was, I guess, a purest wrestling, wrestling dream match, the premier athlete Anthony Neese defeated Jay Lethal to retain the Fusion Championship. So many close moments in this one. It got to the point where I was chanting, give us more, give us more. Uh, I would like to see a rematch between the two of them, maybe a 30-minute Iron Man match or perhaps two out of three falls. After intermission, we had a three-way women's matches match as Alicia defeated Brittany Savage and Marty Bell. Great three-way match with those ladies. The demonic juggernaut Apollyon defeated the near seven-foot-tall Mega to retain the NYWC championship. Apollyon is now pretty much been has been NYWC champion since House of Bad is 2011, and by the time Draw the Line on November 17th rolls around, he will have been heavyweight champion for over one year. From there, the Big O won a 30-man battle royal to become number one contender to the NYWC championship. Among other participants were Stockade, Matthew Justice, Bill Carr, Smith James, Reckless and Wasted, Style and Finesse, Ryan Rush, Alvin Alvarez, Spider, Jay Red, and many others whose names I did not get. Uh, near the end, it came down to Stockade and the Big O all alone in the ring, and it got to the point where Crusher Dugan grabbed uh, Stockade's full rope attack cowbell, threw it in the ring, Stockade threw it out of the ring and said, I told you not to like that. Sadly, uh, Big O, it cost Stockade. Sadly for Stockade, it cost him the battle royals. Big O rebounded, eliminated him to win the match. Uh, Tony Neese came out to congratulate St uh, Big O after the, the win, and Big O announced he was going to make sure there would be no interference in the House of Madness match. From there, the Slop Hunters, John Silver and Alex Reynolds, defeated DJ Fat Pat and Francis Kiplin Stevens, and Mikey Whipwreck and Rex Wallace in a hectic, chaotic, madnessful House of Madness match to become the new NYWC Tag Team Champions. Among the highlights in this one, uh, Fat Pat and Francis, I guess, Spike Bonsai dropping Reynolds, Mikey and Crusher Dugan handcuffing John Silver to the ring post, Apollyon tried interfering, but it was thwarted by the Big O. I really thought Francis and Fat Pat were going to pull this one off. And... And, you know, congratulations to the new champions. And well, we all wonder, where will we go from here? Personal notes time. Welcome back, Jamie, to NYWC after a very lengthy absence. It was great having you sit, sitting with me for that one, Jamie. You picked a great show to come back. It was nice meeting David Poppy. Great seeing James McGrady, Oliver, Chris, Allison, Aisling, Craig, Raleigh, Neil, Jim Lundis, John Kerr, Shane. Um, I hate when I do this shit. Oh, God. <sighs> No. In any event, after the show, I went to the Twisted Shamrock right by Babylon's LIRR station where Shane was bartending after the show. They got some great food there, and it was a great environment being there uh, for the first time in over a year. And Shane, like I uh, asked, had said to you before I left, 
More after parties at Twisted Shamrock, please. Now we got some memorable quotes. What was that, the wonton bomb? Crusher Dugan when uh, Fat Pat did a dive onto the floor. Fat man can't fly. Dugan referring to Fat Pat after he got up from that dive. Do it for Robert Lottie. Stockade to a lovely lady at the Twisted Shamrock. How did we find the ladies' room? Uh, pretty looking chick at Twisted Shamrock to me. I guess uh, she was hammered. I don't even know if the Twisted Shamrock even has a ladies' room. But I, I don't know if she was hammered or what, what her deal was. I don't even know if she, she may have been at the show. Maybe not. Many fans came, to, came out from, from the show, came down to this uh, quite a party and all. I, I wish uh, somebody was, I wish uh, somebody was there and uh, you know who you are. Uh, missing in action for the show was Papa Don. Um, sign guy Jason Linick was not there. Um, Ralph Duke, it was great seeing you as well, as well as uh, Fred, Joey, I know Stephen Scogan was there, Charlie his son, and his son Josh. Attention, uh, NYWC workers who have already done, oh, sorry, oh, excuse me, have already partaken in the No Punches Pulled interview series. If any of you would like to do another interview, please let me know. We can maybe do something with the, with the board. If anybody likes uh, Robert's Rundown, let me know as well. Great having Larry Legend on the train going back to Queens with me. Uh, Larry, it was uh, great talking to you on the train. And thank you for those uh, cookies you brought to the show. They, uh, they were really, 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 really good. <laughs> Great seeing Dan Acosta, Ryan, and Diane. Oh, man. It seems like, I don't know about you guys, but every time, every time I come to NYWC, it feels like a family reunion. I don't know about the rest of you. Oh, here's another memorable quote. I slipped! Rob Vegas, after he got eliminated from the Battle Royal, right in front of me. Does anybody have any pointers on passing out flyers to help push the message board? I had the flyers with me, but it was always chaotic at intermission to uh, pass them out. And everybody's like trying to go to the bathroom, go outside, or they... Or they're like, it's always a chaotic situation when everybody gets off at intermission. I, I can tell you that. Great having the NYWC2 club in full effect. But I got to say, everybody, it works better when we say two together. Not after I say it. Uh, also, great seeing Evan R. now uh, photographing this particular show. Forge, thank you for the natural ice beer. Man, that tasted good, too. Uh... I sure hope more women come into NYWC. How about we bring in Mia Yim and Annie Social? I know we don't want to bring everybody from WSU into NYWC, but how about we bring in Annie Social and Mia Yim? They're awesome workers. I don't know about the rest of you, but I think NYWC could use another championship.
Man, I hate when I do this. Okay, I know people have criticized me for stumbling and awkward silence on my video recaps. If you people have any, have any pointers, please let me know. On that note, NYWC rules. <laughs>